Hello everybody, welcome back for another round of Quest for the Best. We're picking it up today. If you haven't watched the other ones, there's about to be a spoiler. But we're picking it up today with Green White Token, sitting at 1-0. and Our first place deck right now is at 12-2, and so a long road for our Green White Token Vehicle deck to get to the top. But you gotta start somewhere, so let's go to work. Ender's Hammer is uh, going to be the first one to try to take us down today. Can't keep that. You. I don't think I can keep that. I think six is better. Ooh, okay. Well, if we draw any creature, we may not be totally boned, but things could certainly go wrong. Ooh, I can't wait to see if he mills another three lands off the top of my deck. Gotta love it. All right. Oh, we do have Scrap Heap Scrounger in the deck. Maybe he'll, <laughs> we draw a land off the top. So two straight, six land hands. Um, Black man is not really what we want to see. Mist Intruder. Okay, he's gonna just punish our deck. That's the plan. You gonna attack? No, he's going to, he's going to mill. All right. Oh, <laughs> we drew the Scrounger. If he had milled it sooner, we might have got value off that. Ooh, seems the universe is conspiring against us, but don't worry. Don't worry. We shall battle. We shall We shall overcome some way. All right, tracker and exemplar hit in the bin. Some scrounger food, at least. Real question is, how is our opponent on copter removal? Probably didn't get to rank uh, 37 by accident, and they're running all the ingest all day. Still, I think we have to make them have a fatal push here. We can't afford to be very choosy. We're already uh, looking at a bad hand, and we're getting mugged. <laughs> it was a, what would have been a rather uh, charming draw. Alright. Yeah. I think we gotta go for it. We have to make him have it. Okay, he's pausing me. That's nice. Yep, got it all, baby. Got it all. Probably could have seen it coming, but you know. My hand doesn't really allow me to do much else. Alright. Let's let's get decked. We still have a lot of powerful draws. I'm just always very cynical of whether or not I'll get them. Let's... And, uh, yeah. <laughs> if we take our first loss this way, maybe I should just delete the deck right away. But to be fair, it's an opponent who at least has some, uh, a synergistic theme going. Two creatures off the top, go figure. Land! Great. <laughs> just what I wanted. Get scrounged. I was thinking about playing defense here, but I just, I don't think that will work. I think that that's a bad way to roll. I don't want, I don't know what that blue mill creature is. Yeah, I'm struggling with its existence myself. <laughs> But he's down to one card. He has a Westvale Abbey. That's really close to Ormondal. That's scary. That is scary. That may... Oh, God. That would have been the draw, too. Oh! <laughs> so, um... Oh, my God. Stainless is definitely conspiring to treat us as badly as possible right now. Like, this is... This is embarrassing. <laughs> That's what he's milled. This is what we've drawn. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, this, um... So, if you missed the beginning... Wow, he curves right into Sire of Stagnation. That's amazing. Oh, at least he's, uh... At least he's gonna be way too dumb to Westvale Abbey. Alright, so... 
Let's get in front of one of these because if he loots with it right now, he doesn't gain anything. So I think that makes that the play. Yeah, I know. He just cur he's just curves right into Sire of Stagnation. It's brilliant. It's bloody brilliant. Wish I could do that. <laughs> there goes Sky Sovereign. And look at just just look at the cards he milled. He milled both walking ballistas, which would have totally uh twisted this game. They were right on top of each other. <laughs> it was absolutely hilarious. Alright. No land for me. <laughs> Our opening hand, if you weren't here for it, is we mulliganed a two lander, we drew a six lander, we mulliganed it, we got another six lander, we mulliganed it, we got a five, uh, a four lander, and a copter. And uh, we would have had this in the graveyard to, to his minister, except we drew it off the top. So we just can't buy a break, is really the way it works right now. Um, let's see. Card in hand. Matter which one? One gains life, so yeah, I guess it does. He doesn't, he can't push it till after combat the way that things are. He also had the fatal push for the copter, naturally, as one of his perfect curve out spells. And he's going absolute ham. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is a dismantling at this point. <laughs> Ingest has never been better. This is the absolute height of ingestion. Oh god. Well. This is amazing. This is special. All right, enjoy your cards, jackass. <laughs> oh my lord. And he gets a displacer immediately. <laughs> All right. You get a 1-1, one, one, I take it? Good for you. You only got one more energy. Okay. Yeah, that works perfectly with his ingest with theme. <laughs> and uh, a combo with Westvale Abbey, I might add. Yep. Uh huh. All right. Um. like this could have uh, gang blocked and I might next turn but I want to hold off another turn if I can maybe that's crazy but I really want to hold off on that until the end as it gets completely destroyed by a removal spell all right yeah, I could have uh, thrown the Harvester and the Heart in front of Sire and maybe dug out of Sire land, but like I said, want, trying to hold off on that play. Look at him go. Look at him go. Hey, this ground you now and we're out of energy. How, how about that? How about another land? Why don't, how about we just draw another land? How's that, how's that going for me? It's absolutely special. Yep. These games, man. They, what is it? It's about one or two out of ten that are just utterly ridiculous. All right, opponent. What's the play? <clears throat> he 
something's going to tank on how best to mill me in this situation. Alright. Let's see what happens here. Can I Ormondal him? I only need one more creature to Ormondal him. So I can take this? And then make him have an answer? Is that the play? It's a Hail Mary of a play. But I need a Hail Mary. I need a Hail Mary. Nothing else will do. Hello, Gids. Hello, Gids. So what do you think? He's got a bounce spell? He's had almost jack nothing most of this game. Do I try to ambush him? Take out the Sire? I don't think that's it. Nah. We're just gonna throw the Hail Mary. If we lose... If we die, we die with our sword in our hand. I wonder if he gets to... Er, no, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. What? <laughs> All right. So he can end of turn Abby. Shit. I'll go to 10. But at end of turn, he can Westvale Abby and then untap and. No, that doesn't work. Never mind. I think we're okay. No? Yeah. End of turn. Let's see. First time you lose life each turn, get energy. Pay two energy. Damn it. Damn it. I can't attack. I think I have to, though. If he sees it, he wins. Like I said, die on our backs. He's gonna pause me. He's going to flash in a Torrential Gear Hulk. That's definitely lethal. Nice draw. Alright. Well, I guess we'll make him attack us. Maybe he will forget. But. Oh wells. Going to go ahead and adjust the record now. Ah. <sighs> Well, that, if that's not a beating. If that's not a beating. <laughs> well, we could have slow played that. Going for Ormondal turned out to be a big mistake. Of all the things I thought about, I was most worried about a bounce spell. I didn't quite see a Torrential Gear Hulk coming. Definitely could have slow played it though, but then we're just getting milled. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I feel like the, I feel like the entire um, stainless entourage conspired against me that game. And now, uh, just like that, we're on the bubble. With, uh, at just one and one. So things aren't looking good for you uh, fans of Green White. Of which there are probably none. You're probably all hoping this deck hurry up, hurries up and dies. Continuing the people who are here. Considering, like, the people watching right now. <laughs> You probably want me to play something like Esper Control. All right, uh, this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. 
It's gonna be hard to run it over anyway. Perfect. If I flood out from here, I'll be very happy about it. That's, that'll be great. Alright, maybe we're up against some kind of Grixis control. Let's see. Hey EO, call me a covert or CGB. Daniel is what my mother calls me. But I am glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Alright, first uh, fodder. How relevant do you think Spell Shrivel is going to be in the next set? I I don't I mean it's not uh it's not the most relevant counter spell right now, I don't think. Um What changes that? I guess X spells change that, so what are we talking about? We're talking about ribbons, we're talking about um Pull from Tomorrow. Do those make it better? Maybe. I don't know. Weird question to, to, to walk in here and ask infinite, infamous one. Have you been just contemplating that deeply? Just curious. All right, so he takes it. Well, you mentioned spell shrivel. Our opponent might have one. What would we want shriveled? Nothing. I want none of this shriveled, but let's go for this. Because what I'm even more worried about is a sweeper, so... I think that's even more common out of those colors than counters. Uh, Garrick, Caller of the Beast. I don't remember that off the top of my head. I'd have to look that one up. Irish Sanitarium. Our opponent's over there doing squat jack nothing. Interesting. What is going on? Hmm. What do you do with all that nothing? Okay, send in this. Yep, you gonna kill that? You wanna kill it? You wanna you wanna mess with that now? No? Okay. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? Alright. So I'll play this Nissa. If he wants to counter it, fine. If he wants to sweep it, we still get a forest out of the deal, so we can curve out. Bombardment. Okay. Sure. You got that. And he's gonna. That's actually smart to use it now in case I wanted to loot the forest away. Ha <laughs> ha! You just got got! Harley Danger. With a Chandra kind of hanging out. Could be a she. You never know. Give me my forest. Go ahead. Uh, I don't think that's very much like Nyssa at all, really. I mean, there are some things that are similar, but I think they're very different cards, obviously. I don't need to say obvious things. <laughs> Wait, did the finals happen? Are you, are you talking about the semis? What happened? Hold on. Hold on here. Oh, no way! No freaking way! No way! Is that for real? Is there a champion in our midst? 
Does he walk among us? <laughs> Does a champion walk among us? Let's get the beat down going. That works. <laughs> oh my god. Is it true? Could it be? I see the videos on YouTube, I didn't even know. You don't like being spoiled. <laughs> Guess hot, run and hide. Ah, oh, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> wow. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. That is awesome. <laughs> oh man. We have... If you don't like spoilers too bad, I guess it the cat's out of the bag. All of you in this party with me, all uh, 18 of you, we're just going to have to drop any uh, need we have to not be spoiled and celebrate. We've got a Steam Showdown champion newly crowned among us. That is indeed, in my opinion, the good guys win. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> Somebody get the air horns out. <laughs> if I could if I could put music on my streams like those uh, Steam players do, we'd play the uh we'd play the air horns. <laughs> yep, you languished some things. And he's got Twin Bolt. Alright, so he's just a really plotting control -y deck. That's a good way to deal with my board. But he's gonna get Gideoned. That is kind of awesome. That is two people. Like, um, Nighthawk says team, old school YouTube, me and Mobius, Rain Victorious. Um, but for real, those are two players who never really got their uh, comeuppance. Like, you and Mobius both made content and worked hard for a long time and never got to win one of these events. So, I'm totally stoked about that. I'm, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Team Urge, Team Urge took it. It it may only be second place in our uh, quest for the best, but it it stole the freaking Steam Showdown show. I always thought it was a good meta deck, and I thought the meta when I played it in Xbox was just all wrong. But I guess uh, I, it it only ran the gauntlet of Green Black. That's for sure. I love it against Green Black. I took that deck. <sighs> yep, one season early and on the wrong platform. Xbox meta was like all super aggro, hasty, like Speedway Fanatic vehicles. <laughs> that tournament. <laughs> yep. And this looks like, uh, speaking of a, of a, a few f a season ago or so, this is that Green White's token deck that was all over... Uh, SCG and Grand Prix and the Pro Tour not that long ago. Um, hmm. More tokens, bigger tokens, bigger tokens, more tokens. And in these boys. Murder! You did it. One less tutu in the world. All right. You on the battlefield. You on the battlefield. Blue on the battlefield. Copter on the battlefield. Looking good. Uh, my opponent is trying some, like, extreme draw-go, like, all instance Grixis, except for... Well, I guess that's not true. He's got some sorceries in there doing work, but it's, like, all removal Grixis for sure. The problem is just all the removal spells aren't what they used to be. 
All the removals and rise from the tides. Congrats on your zombies. What up, zombos? All right, so get getting back on track with our green white list after that pause for celebration. I I do need some balloons or some air horns or something. <laughs> but uh, we improve it to two one. Yeah, you laugh at zombies now. I do. What What's he going to do? Play Liliana's expertise and pump them? Not this format. Maybe next time. Uh, rise from the tides and the new ramp spell. Yeah, if you have nine mana, you can get nine more lands. Imagine the possibilities. Uh, for those wondering, I think I have that one. I can put an image of that on your screen here in a second. Uh, it's something like rise, right to spring, or rise to spring, or no, meh. Uh, spring to mind? No, that's not it. No, that's that's the split card. My bad. This is just this one is harvest season. There we go. Harvest season. Here, you guys can check that out if you want. My vote probably not very good. Not something I'm gonna be eager to play with. Not something that's going to stay on my radar. All right. Another one. Century of X. Let's rock. And yeah, can't really shuffle away this combination of cards. Ever. Hoping Black doesn't get zombie tribal stuff over some of the cool cards. I mean... As long as it's powerful, I'll take it. As long as they're, as long as it's almost playable, I want it. I really, I mean, we probably won't get your planeswalker removal spell. Get over it. We probably won't get lay bare the heart. Just, just get over it right now, and then you can be happy like a kid on Christmas if they surprise us. All right, you, I'm gonna lead on you. Uh, dear God, I want the worm enchantment. Actually, I do too, not because I'm actually going to play it, just because it, it's hilarious to me. Creatures with flying can't attack you? That's like the opposite of moat. That's ridiculous. That's How does that even make sense? I don't know. I guess they're saying the sandstorm is so extreme that all flights have been grounded. Anyway, there's a link to that card if you want it. Our opponent got their telling of the time on. The Days Undoing card is interesting. I like, um, so that's a split card that says you can put target permanent second from the bottom and then for six mana flashback, um, you can shuffle, you can basically shuffle draw seven. Uh, spring to mind, that's it. Um, and the front, oh no, that's not it. There's, there's a different one. Where did it go? Where did you go? I miss you so. Anyway, can't find it. Can't find it. Oh, commit to memory. There it is. So what I like about that is it's basically a four mana blue instant removal spell for any permanent if your opponent is cracking an evolving wilds. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. All right, let's see if our opponent's got something for this. They would have to have Blessed Alliance or Sky Whaler's Shot. So I'm fine making them have that there because their Blessed Alliance doesn't gain the life at this point. And because we have another vehicle waiting in the wings. Sometimes you just gotta take that take that trade. <laughs> but we just faced Grix's control, now we're facing Jeskai control. So I'm very curious to see what we can do here. Uh, that is not the land I was looking for. I really wanted to ballista that thing. Let's see if my opponent has a ballista on the brain. He has a bombardment. Okay, I'll just pause him for a second. Let him know I'm thinking. 
Get my think on. And get ready to go over the top. Thinking the ice could be a problem. The Gideon emblem plus aftermath memory gets here. <laughs> that gets you going. <laughs> I'm sure we we all miss uh, what is it? Elixir of immortality, which just made games endless, right? Alrighty, what's the play? Opponent's given us all the Drago face. Um, let's use you. Bombard. Gear up. See if he has another Blessed Alliance to just really top the deck off. I'm not going to use the lifelink, though. I want to save it to get back Scrounger when I draw Aether Hub. Because this game could be grindy. We'll see if that costs me later. It's one of those judgment calls. Our opponent had no problem drawing an Aether Hub. Lucky bastard. Okay, let's see if you resolve. Would be nice. I want that forest. Thank you. Keep sending in this particular clown. And my opponent, I guess they're on all land. I think they're on all land. I was expecting a glimmer or something there, but I think I think we're sitting on all blue and red land. Oh, Radiant Flames. That could have been one of the cards. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Although it does mean he didn't have to bombard the Sage the way he did, but whatever. And now he's got blue up, so do we go for Declaration in Stone? Let me see if I can play this first. And then I'll try throwing this at him and see if he flips his thing. I know it would bounce back my stuff, but I'm not as worried about that as making sure Declaration resolves. But it looks like it's going to. He's just... I think he's sitting on nothing. Although, he didn't play land last turn, did he? No. So maybe he's just holding them back? I don't know. This is weird. But let's go for it. Okay, that works. So, I don't know what's what's in his hand. Just they have to be sweepers, sorcery speed removal, bad cards, or land. Just weird. Don't know what's going on over there, dude. Mm, not sure what I want to play here either. I think I just have to jam Gideon. If he drew a counter spell, he just drew it off the top of his deck. The other route is to just pump more stuff into Ballista and drag out the value. But I'm just gonna go for it. If he drew it, he drew it. Nope. Okay, let's be mindful of Needle Spires. Ballista's a little bit of an insurance policy there. So you can kill that, crew, spires, attack, or you can concede. Sweet. <laughs> That's a way to do it. Alright, three and one. Trying to get on a roll. Like butter. <clears throat> Non-event game. <laughs> It certainly felt like it. I mean, it looked like our opponent had 
The typical Jeskai control deck must have just been a really bad draw. I don't know. There were some interesting sequencing decisions. But our next opponent has for us. Anybody actually looking forward to playing with Blood Fury Militant? A four, two mana, a red and one other uncommon, four, three. When it enters the battlefield, you discard a card. <laughs> that, that's like one of the more aggro-y aggro cards ever. You get my PM by the way. Was it on NGA? I haven't been on NGA today. Ah, oh, gosh, I have so many messages. Okay, yeah, I'm sure I got it. I have a buttload of messages on NGA all of a sudden. <laughs> I'll check it out, okay? I promise I will. I'll check it out. Four three for two, even if you have to discard a card. That's that's sending a message. That's what I'm talking about. I guess it could still be a Thalia deck. All right, to the board. Blue and red. The colors of mill and control and all sorts of shenanigans. And colors I never just spike my Rex Sage on, so looks like we're not gonna have a non-event turn. RDW look Nighthawk thinks that RDW legit looks terrifying if we get the right pieces for it. It's possible. So you have that Jackal, right, who is one mana for one, two, that gets plus one, plus oh, and it has Menace when you when you discard a card, and then you can play uh, that Minotaur Brute dude on turn, uh, turn two, and just rock and roll. And you did two damage, and you're down another card. If you're on the play, you've got like three cards left in your hand. Oops, forgot to shoot him with it. My bad. <laughs> You busy looking at spoilers. That's what I get. That's what I get for being distracted. But our opponent now doesn't have the mana to stop this. How you doing? Um, he might have Firecraft is the only thing I can think of, so I'm gonna plus. Yep, you tell some time. <laughs> Gemini somewhere is just jealous. Somebody just cast two telling times. I remember when my friends mocked my Ballista promo. Eh, silly friends. Friends do silly things. Ballista's not the most beautiful looking card, but it gets a lot of work done. All right, he's Jess guy. I don't want to attack, do I? My bad. I'm just messing up all over the place now. He's like, please, please attack. Should have played that first main. Okay, I gotta focus. I am I am being a joke. A joke of a, of a magic player. Ugh. I don't want to attack into a like a wide open Blessed Alliance mana against Jess guy. That would be silly. Yep. Bounce sees it. He says, Jess guy with four mana open, that's a trap. Freaking trap cards. All right. Tracker. Let's see if our opponent wants to do anything about Tracker here. He hasn't. All he's done is told a lot of time.
Now he could have double Blessed Alliance. Do I risk that? I'll risk that. Then he doesn't gain any life. Nothing. <laughs> Just stone cold nothing. Uh, our second Drago control opponent in a row doing Stone Cold nothing. Actually, third. If you go back to Grixis, we're just running the Control Gauntlet today. Galvanic. I think he has one in the yard. He does. All right. No Blessed Alliance or any or not a uh, no Blossoming defenses or anything like that to draw. Nahiri. Ew. There goes Harvester. Maybe there goes Harvester? There goes Harvester. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. I don't think it's the same dude. Isn't the background different? Oh, no, it is the same dude. It's the same dude. Mortivore nailed it. And we have almost the same draw. How about that? All right. Let's get in there. Down with uh, Nahir's. Maybe we get cast out to deal with Planeswalkers. It just just kill Planeswalkers. It ain't that. <laughs> it's the Planeswalkers are strong on purpose. Like they wanted Planeswalkers to be strong. People just want something that has you know written on it, destroy target, whatever they don't like. Yeah, you do have solvent. That's true. That's true. So, you know, what can you complain about? You got a one mana, you got a one mana thing. <laughs> All right, there we go. It doesn't have cast out yet. Maybe what, maybe we do get it. When we do, I'm sure everybody will play it and be very, very happy with that. But I will play a lot more enchantment hate than I used to. Moo ha ha. Moo ha 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 ha. I swear I've never had a Thopter Arrest blown up. But I also don't cast it that many times. I only use it in, like, uh, Boros Aggro. Does just guy trigger you or something is the question from EO. Um, meow, meow. I, I, I don't know. I'm just playing super sloppy because I'm looking at spoilers at the same time. So I think that triggers me a little because I don't like being sloppy. But I can't help myself. Spoilers are so juicy. My multitasking, it just gets the best of me. Just guy free win dot deck. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so it is two wins in a row against that thing and we're up to 4-1 but we are on the bubble we lost earlier today got ingested in absolutely glorious fashion kind of losses that just haunt one for the rest of one's magic career play out the non-basics our opponent might be on Thalia themselves we definitely want to curve out with this hand. Although right now we're missing a four drop. And what are we... What What's going on? Guardian of Pilgrims. Yeah, alright. I mean, that's, that's a card you can put in a deck. It's probably an upgrade over that uh, Kins Bay Skirmisher deck box card, whatever the heck that thing is. As this has a relevant creature type, Kithkins haven't been relevant for about a decade. So what's he going to follow that with? Are we White Spirit Tribal? Nothing. Well, get in there, Thalia. I'm not playing around stuff. I'm not playing around in general no more. 
Let's get to work. Always fear the angelic destiny. Yeah, I fear it, but there's nothing I can do about it, so may as well get in there. If he has it, I'll have to line up a juicy double block. Nimbus wings. So, you know, angelic destiny, like, whoa. Okay, dude. I mean, you, wow. Our opponent found, found a clever line to kill Thalia. Nimbus wings making it a 4-4. Reprisal making it dead. Nighthawk says, gotcha. And he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. He got me. But we shall have, we shall provide some comeuppance in the form of Skysav. Behold my vehicle. Like, so I am now that guy. I am that guy. You know, the one with the garage full of expensive cars. Like, here you can see my sky ship. I only take it out every now and then, you know, when I feel like being a real big bad guy. And this is the heart of Kieran. He's dead now, but I took his heart. I don't even drive it. I mostly just keep it around to make myself feel good. <laughs> oh, Suntail Hawk has reported to the battlefield. Run away! Run away! Let's uh, let's set up an ambush. <laughs> I got a stuff. Oh wait, this is gonna come out tapped. Silly me. Silly me. He played Athalia. All right, but that's okay. Look at him go. This guy's on fire. I guess it didn't matter when I played this. I couldn't attack with anything anyhow. So let's see if that's going to come down tapped. I play it on end step. I untap. Reclamation Sage, Sky Sav. Yeah, life is beautiful. He's tapped out though. Let's uh, let's let him think we forgot about Thalia. I can be like, ah! Why? Why did it happen this way? All right. Down to 13. Mm hmm. We want to use one, not both. <sighs> yeah, okay. There we go. And let's go with. Destroying that so that we can crew up this. And I think I need to take out the double striker because, as crazy as it sounds, if I get Angelic Destiny punked, it's a big problem. So I just think that's a little wiser. Let Thalia live. Thalia on Destiny is a problem too, but Sage can hit it. But if I take the double strike punch, I might just get punked out the following turn. We can't have that. Can flagship target your own Rex Sage? No, it is creature opponent controls. Otherwise, um, we would possibly be able to flip our Archangel Avacyn if the opponent had no instant speed interaction for it. And opponent says, you go. All right, I will. What kind of trap have they laid for us? Well, I'm going to throw the ship at him. Over it after this, you fancy a game playing against me. We're doing the quest for the best, and I want the pairings to be random. If I started taking challengers, they could plan against my decks. So, thank you for the offer, but I'm going to decline. It's a slippery slope, my friend, but thank you, Jordan. It's very nice of you to come and invite me. All right. 
right, we're going to flip Archangel Avacyn, so we don't want to play our guys. So, prepare to die, Suntail Hawk, in Avacyn's fire. Okay, passing. And let's go ahead and put you out there to crew the heart. And let's see if this can take it down or if he has Blessed Alliance or some other shenanigans. Nope. Survived the Suntail Hawk. 5-1. Rolling right along. But it's going to take a big streak to get us into that 12-2 uh, and two territory. Green-white living on the edge. Like Aerosmith style. Living on the edge. Yeah. Uh, Mortivore. Yep, we sent him back to rank one. Sometimes the seals have to know. You're lucky he didn't draw a second hawk, says, of course, Nighthawk. You and Suntail Hawk, man. I don't know if you guys had a falling out or if your family or what. <laughs> that second cousin you don't introduce to anybody. Or don't tell people about. Spry Duke. All right, we got a rank 38. Probably not going to give us the same cakewalk. Let's get a hand we can play. We can play this. I don't love it. It's not bad, but it's uh, like two removal spells from a from garbage. Now, you can see, I spam the Rex Sages in this deck, and it's one of the things that I think makes the deck good, that it can do that. They crew the vehicle, they kill the opponent's vehicle, but we just don't run into vehicles that often on, on Xbox just pubbing around. It doesn't happen. You guys can look back at the games and be like, yeah, you're right, never play against vehicles. And some of you may uh, be jealous of that. <laughs> Me, it feels really weird when that happens, and I have cards like this in my deck that do nothing. The great dream. Hey! Awesome! What? <laughs> now, th that is much more likely in the meta is uh, getting tutelaged. Tutels! Um, do I have any one drops? Yes, I do. I have tool craft, so I should play this land? Yep. Aha! What are your fogs gonna do now without a tutelage on the battlefield, mister? Ooh. Not only that, I have a uh, displacer to go with that Rex Sage. <laughs> I'm actually gonna toss the Thalia though. I think that's gonna be the least useful card in this hand. I already have too many 3-drops. And Displacer with Rex Sage against Tutelage if he's not running removal is... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, he's got red in the deck. That's probably... Oh! And looky there. Looky looky. I've got hooky. Well, if he has removal, he'll be okay. If he doesn't, ba bam. But let's, um. Eh, that's not gonna change my play anyway. I could draw another Rex Sage, though. I'm trying to think if I should. No, I should go for damage. So, you. We 
We're not going to show him the Abbey, though. So he doesn't... He can't be certain of what's coming. But he should expect it. Um, God, now I have to discard one? Well, then he'll definitely expect it, but whatever. See if he has a sweeper of some kind to make this interesting. Okay, you, you, see if he's got the fog, probably. Ba damn, ba damn, bam, ba da ba ba bow. All right, well, not terrible, but we're at least gonna do this first. Could have saved the copter, but I'd rather just take away his wing condition. Yes! <laughs> Forgot all about that. Um, highly unlikely we need this. What creatures do you think he even runs? Maybe he has a disciple in there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna toss it. I'm gonna. Hope that a Displacer and a Ballista can get us through whatever critters he might have. Stop bullying Team or Fog. <laughs> Two tutelages down, but I mean, he, he might have Green Ward in here. Collective Defiance. Yeah, okay. Gonna wheel himself. Okay. Huh. Seems like those might be cards I'd resolve before I'd wheel, but, you know. Each their own. Get in there, Rex Age. Might have a Radiant Flames now. If I put out Nissa and Tracker, I'll feel really silly. So I'm gonna do Ballista this turn. That at least get some damage through. It also, uh, it also digs through fog. Catalog. Cat a catalog. Shrivel hits the yard. Interesting. And he's even got the man to play it. So what do you keep in that case? Not more fogs, probably. But that's great. That's something that lets us play more magic at instant speed. go for lethal, but if he's discarding a shrivel, I think he also is holding a shrivel. And right now, if he sits there with mana open and I sit here with mana open, I get ahead because I got the dorks. Alright. Right now, I'm just watching for that Radiant Flames. Ready to break a heart. No? He counters this, I kill him, so... Yep. What do you got? Nothing? Fog? I can beat a fog here. There's a fog. All right, let's um, add a counter. Poke you. Poke you. And poke you. Trigger Avison. Avison flips on his turn, so he has to have a bounce or removal spell for it, or he dies before he draws. Zorge. Ah. 
All right, made it to six and one on our little green-white vehicular nonsense. Nothing I enjoy quite like blowing up Sphinx's tutelage. This is why I don't know if that uh, Matterhorn and uh, all the and all the other artifact hate cards in the next set will make it into my deck over Rex Sage because I just uh, don't want to lose to tutelage. Just I hate it. I hate losing to that card. <laughs> I hate losing to ingest too. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. Goblin in the fridge says, expletive tutelage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Roachman says, little sage that could. Yeah, he he did his work that game. Um, I'm going to keep this just because, like, this, this is amazing. So I think I have to. We might not draw another white, which could get awkward, but we'll, we'll find out. Kiffion's in the house. What up, you little dork? Wait. Really want to draw that white now. Opponents like you vehicles. Oh no. He's showing us the white-red colors. It might be early in the game, but it might already be time to decide who's the beatdown. My opponent would prefer to be the beatdown. Being on the play makes sense. You do want to hold on to the advantage if, if you can. Pretty much have to be talked out of it. What the hell are you? Have I ever played against this card ever? What is this? 3-1 can't be blocked by artifact creatures. Yeah, sure, bro. Alright. Do I put the D on him? Well, Heart of Curing can't block uh, the, the mighty 3-1 anyway. Let's see if he just wants to trade here. Nope. Not surprising. Yeah, look at the curve. Or two. How you like me now? How you like me now? All right, we need to draw a planes. A planes would be a good draw. A planes or another aether hub, just an untapped white source. Ew. Okay. Well. I did say white. Why isn't the shuffler giving me my respect? I think I have to take Kithion out. Um, he doesn't have a flyer though, so let's see. If he makes Gideon, I can just kill it, right? So I don't think I care that much. Actually, I think there's some interesting things I can do here. Taking seven isn't very good, though. <laughs> just so, just so everyone knows, I I do understand that <laughs> taking seven is bad. Okay. Yep, 
Well, you want to use that ability, homie? Big decision. I guess he hadn't thought about it earlier. Or he's trying to tap right. Mm. Don't desync on me. Okay. Land to the bottom. So let's block over here. He's going to activate. I'm going to trigger. And that eats his turn. No Gideon for you. Ballista can take on both of his uh, attackers, so that's fine. Now hold on. Ballista can also animate... Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, let's D up. Because we can crew with Ballista and Toolcraft, we can put the heart in something, and we can throw the Ballista at the 4-2. So he doesn't have good attacks without a play. Let's see what he does. Echo Jin says, damn, I made it for a covert stream. You say that every time. <laughs> that's not good. That's that's bad. That's 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 the worst. That's what that is. Alright, so if heart goes there, two points there, I take one, two, three, four, five, I die. So how do I not die? I don't think there's a way I don't die. I have to put something in front of this. And then I have to put something in front of this and I still take five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Nope, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. One, two, and... F yep, it's five no matter what. Okay, you got me. You got me. If anybody sees uh, another way for that, let me know. But, like, there's nothing I can do. Any way I, I pair these up, or if I crew, any way I block, I can't get out of this. Yeah, there's no way. That was perfect. Uh, can't you block Fleet Wheel with the heart, shoot down the 4-2 and live? No, I still take 5. I take 2 Trample from the Fleet, Week, we, Fleet Wheel because it's a 6-2, and I take 3 from Dipala, so that's 5. So it's still perfectly lethal, I'm afraid. So that's going to put an end to the green-white tokens as we finally play against some vehicles, and they run us over. So let's uh, immortalize that. Throw the post up there. You can see it if you refresh. And we get the grand ceremony, so uh, green-white tokens, you finish at a rather mediocre 6-2, and two. you were a bit clunky, there are better vehicle decks, so uh, it's time for you to go to bed. Dun 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 And what do we do next? Uh, somebody says it's time for some mill. That sounds fine. I can get into that. I'm going to pause this really quick. Then I'm going to transcribe the deck. Then I'm going to continue. So I'll be back in a few.
Alright, I hope you guys are ready to get back to work on the quest for the best. It's the it's time for the tutelage. It's time for the tutelage. <laughs> We've got some reactions to the, the tutelage selection in chat. Most people seem shocked and appalled. But we've got to know. I mean, if tutelage is the best, we have to find out. And let's see who is first up to have their deck flipped upside down. Toots Magoots says Roachman1970. A comment if I've ever read one. Alright, it's on. We are on the play. Give me a hand. This hand would be amazing if it had a Cathartic Reunion. It does not. But I think I can keep it. We just need to draw any land to get things rolling. But it's tutelage, and this is a hand without a tutelage. So I'm going to get my free mulligan. This has a tutelage. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll keep that. Um, I think most people here in the chat already know that uh, Shaolin, you want it spoiled? You want it spoiled? You shall have it spoiled. You are in the midst of a Steam Showdown champion. I'm just so happy about it. I'm happy to spoil it. I'm just I'm just dancing over here. Just so so happy. So so happy. He, he has come down from his throne to, to commune with the peasants here on the CGB stream. Actually, I had to pay him a lot of money just to make an appearance. To sign virtual autographs for us common folk and tell us how he did it. Let's draw some cards. That's Hey, if you like drawing cards, this deck... This deck is good for- this deck is enjoyable. <laughs> oh, and it's showing us blue-black. I wonder if they have a counterspell for the Vigis. See, I don't even know how much that is. He says he got paid uh, 15 pounds an hour. Like, wait, how much? Alright. Uh, since he might have counterspells, I'm gonna try to pull it out of him with a glimmer on his end step. I'd rather disrupt his uh, four mana, because he might have glimmers. I'd rather disrupt him when he has four mana up instead of three, because there's not much you can do from there. Let's see what he wants to do. I counter glimmers a lot more than you think. And my opponent subscribes to the counter the glimmer plan. He, It's a little trickier though against tutelage, because you, you tap out and you never know what's gonna resolve. I like Roma, but you can't take 18 lands and win, says Shaolin. Mm. But you can take 61 cards. There, there was there was just a battle of um, Elias deck building triggers in this. It was 61 cards in the finals versus 18 lands. Oh, what is the world coming to? It is just it is just duels after all, everybody, if they are triggered by that. <laughs> he missed one land drop in your games. Of course he did. I, I I jolly naturally missed more land drops than him in the tournament, I bet. Alright, do I care about a Baral? Not really. Um How do I want to deal though? Holding up broken, what do I even want to counter? Not much. But I don't want to get things like Reunion countered either. But he only has one blue up right now. Could be Spell Shrivel. Well, we have a counter for the counter, but then we can't temper. I think we'll just go with the broken plan. We'll sit. It's good. He wants to Glimmer. Do I want to counter a Glimmer? No, not really. But I could temper a Brawl. But let's let him make his decisions. I want to find a just the wind for that um, 
thing in the ice. So I'm also going to let Visions pull a card off the top of my deck and see if it's just the wind or not. That would be perfect. Okay, it is not just the wind. But now I definitely want to catch him tapped out. What could he do that I need to broken? I don't really care about a planeswalker. So I don't think there's much. So I'm just going to temper this now. <laughs> What's your play? Visions puts it on him to be proactive, but his deck's set up to be reactive, so this gets all kinds of awkward. Interesting. Not what I expected to happen at all. Okay, so he's got kind of a vampire draw theme. That a visitor won't be drawing him cards anytime soon, for sure. Too many... I'm just peeling too many spells. Okay. I think we fiery temper his asylum visitor on end step with our visions, so that's my plan. End step. He glimmers again. Still fine with that. I would love to find it just the wind off the top of my deck so that I don't get uh, bung in the ice. That's not it. Alright. Go to discard. Drop you off. Get you out of there. This might be tricky, though. We have all four just the wind, and that's what we need to find. But our opponent can go ham on the beatdown plan. And he's probably thinking about that right now. Almost with a vein? Weird. Doesn't really matter here. It's still a three turn clock, unless he has another Alm. So he's got, he's some kind of madness deck with counter spells as well. But maybe I'm playing around too much. Countering it won't stop the thing from flipping. So our plan is going to be to Glimmer and then get our draw on next turn to try to find just the wind. Mm hmm. Yep, I'm not gonna, not gonna mess with you. He's got another Brawl. That's f no big deal. Oh, I tried to pause it, though, so I could Glimmer before he had Counter Magic up, but maybe it's okay if he counters this. Yep. Uh, kind of punished there. I was trying to pause it while Brawl was on the stack, because then Glimmer definitely would have resolved, but, you know, Stainless. All right, let's dig, shall we? There's our card. There's our beautiful, beautiful card. So how to resolve it? We can pay the madness cost on end step, but we'd have to miss a land drop. I don't like that. I think we do it with another reunion. He'll Gotta keep that. He'll be and there is a Fiery Temper that I wish I could resolve, but I'll put down the red mana in case our opponent uses the Gyre Reach Sanitarium, or disperses my visions or something, I don't know. And there's our win cons. We just gotta get a board that's safe for them. Still three more in the deck. Three more uh, Just the Wind, um, two Lightning Axe, or three Lightning Axe, which would be great here. And we've actually, we also have two Collective Defiance, which would be great against the thing in the ice before it flips. 
So, our deck's looking pretty friendly from here. We haven't been able to hold up Broken Concentration very well, but that will get more relevant the longer the game goes, the more mana we have. Our opponent's going to have a deep think about what to do here. And it's going to be the death, death hint of perfection. Didn't see that one coming either. And it's pretty good on this board. Pretty dang good. All right, baby Jace, probably not good at all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could play my sanitarium, end step, bolt this. Maybe cast a blah, blah, blah. When you control three or more wizards, plus two, plus one flying. You really don't like it. Don't like it at all. Um, do I take this turn for tutelage? You could have spell shrivel. It would likely resolve, but then I don't have a way to discard the temper. I'm sitting on eight. Unless I don't play a land. I could go without playing a land. Nope, that's not good either. I don't like it. I guess we have to wait. Yeah, here we go. Come on, just the wind. Don't wreck me. This game's been a lot tougher than I would have thought, but it's the way it goes sometimes. Never really got on the right foot here. And it is pretty cool. He gets to, like, where's Lightning Axe, man? Need to pull one of those. Uh, second, um, counter, broken concentration, broken concentration, all right, <laughs> one wizard off of killing me, we need a lightning axe, and then we need some things to go right. Uh, we could also use Collective Defiance, that's in the deck too. Just the Wind buys time as well. Though it's probably not a good way to buy time. Ease of Pete's. Alright. Like that, you guys. Uh, okay. Okay. Probably got removal, but let's set up as if... Nope, that won't work, will it? I don't want to give him a target here. I mean, he almost certainly has removal, right? He hasn't played any, but I haven't given him any creature targets. So if I play Jace, he makes a... He plays Dokken, he plays a removal spell, he makes another wizard, he wins. I don't like that, so... Tutelage it is. Let's hope we draw Lightning Axe off the top. We're overdue. <laughs> We're not quite dead. Unless he has a counter. But we've got two concentrations and a scatter out of him. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's read. I think I have to go for it right now. Whenever, then if you control three or more, yeah, I gotta do it now so it doesn't transform. Counter? Yep, guys, we're going to one again. 
How do I get out of these tokens? These three little one ones, it's looking really bad. I don't know that I can with the cards in my deck. I may just be dead to three one ones. But he's, let's see, he's at 28. If I draw the right card off the top, maybe I can mill him out. If I draw take inventory or any of my like draw threes. I've milled people out from this spot before when I have double tutelage. That's not a draw three. Son of a bitch. All right, so I have to hit a cathartic reunion or something of that ilk into another one. Do I have the mana to even do that? No, I only have the mana to hit one, two, three, four, five triggers. But you gotta try. What's the world if you can't try? <sighs> Disappointing, that's what it is. It's just disappointing. I don't think there's any instant I can draw with visions that'll do the job here. <sighs> there it was. There it was. Day late, buck short. Ah! Looks like we're gonna start off on an 01. But good for my opponent. Weird blue black deck. Just the cards lined up great. Great for my opponent. And uh, if you are a fan of seeing Mill get beat, this is the game for you. Kind of a funky blue black madness control. I dig it. So, bravo. Bravo. All right, let's see if Mill goes 0 and 2. Might have been that Glimmer getting countered turn. Yeah, that was a big, that was probably a big deal. Something else would have gotten countered, so it's hard to say, but it's not like I did nothing the turns after that, but it certainly, it certainly mattered. Stupid stainless. All right, let's see if we go 0-2 with Mill. I would actually, I wouldn't even be too opposed. I feel like you have to represent it because it's so popular. You play, I play against it several times a day, but we got to. We, we got to see what it does. If it goes 0-2, that's really hilarious to me. <laughs> first time, Greed is good says it's the first time he's managed to catch CTB streaming. Mill is one of his favorite decks and it's a heavy loss. Mill is the bad guy we need says Nighthawk. Hey, this level 1 might kick my butt. At least they know how to put 60 cards in a deck. Though so you never know. I've lost to one ranks on here before. Dari, Dari, this was your doing, right? You called this? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What you gonna do? Blue green energy? Is it energy? Everybody's first deck now is energy. I swear to the Lord. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. He didn't have the thriving turtle, so we're already we're already looking good. No thriving turtles. Right. Let's get the cards rolling. Hey, this poor fool might win. We don't have a tutelage yet, homie. Probably hit autofill. <laughs> Is that what you think happened? Ha ha ha. Life Spring Druid, he's ramping. He might even have other colors. 
But I think what we're going to do is reunion bolt that thing. That or we take our time even longer. If I draw a land, I'm not going to reunion. I'm going to hold up the... Nope. It would have to be a blue land. Okay. So I have concentrations I can't cast. Let's um, get rid of one of them and you. Bolt the bird. Greed says, I really love Mill back in Eldric Moon, but everyone changed when the vehicles attacked and people started bringing Rex Sages. That's right, there's a little bit of crossover hate. That's right. It's probably not nearly as popular as it was in Eldric Moon, and I believe that is when Winter Void and his tutelage deck won Steam Showdown as well. Mortivore says prolific Rex Sages have ruined Mill. I buy it. We haven't run into it yet, though, and we haven't won a game. <laughs> We're 0 for 1. A theorist. Oh no, now he can scry and make sure I never get two furs. Rex Ages didn't ruin it, Fragmentized did. I see a lot less uh, Fragmentizes than I see Rex Ages watching this game, but you never know. Everybody's experiences are different. We're going to need some actual removal on the double. Our opponent's just going to spam dorks. What can I do? I can bounce two of them. I don't know if that's actually good. Since he might have much better plays coming down the way. So I think I just take five here and hold up concentration slash glimmer. See what he does. See what his autofill deck decides to do. It might not be auto-filled, that's just a comment from chat. No disrespect. No disrespect. You do what you can when you're, uh, when you're playing against the sharks. When you're swimming with sharks, you do all you can. Alright. Do anything else? You gonna scry. What else do you have for a play? Come on. But you got something. Ha <laughs> ha! No! I'm not countering that. Forget it. What's wrong? Uh, Shailen says, what's wrong with Xbox matchmaking? Uh, I think you know. It just doesn't work. It doesn't pair you up against, like, rank at all. So that's what's wrong with it. It's not, not you know, it's not a big conspiracy or anything. It's just, it just doesn't work the way you'd expect. I think I need to bolt one of the two ones. God, this is horrid. But I think that's right. What do I have in hand? Nine. So I can use my natural discard step here and still hold up broken. And reach. So I don't think, well, the funeral can be a blocker though. So I do want that out. Okay. That's the plan. That's the plan. Don't forget about your natural discard step when playing a deck like this. You can always just have too many cards in your hand go to discard to pay a madness cost. You could have countered the turtle, you fool. Enjoy the loss, is what greed uh, is good says. <laughs> uh, I will enjoy the loss if that's the way it goes down. I'll probably end up bouncing the turtle. I will probably end up bouncing the turtle. Mm-hmm. What else you got? Emperor. That, I think... That's another one, though, that's a great target for just the win, but I think I'm going to spend my counter. I can't just sit here letting things resolve.
What else you got? He's got scry. Boom. Okay. So many lands. So many lands. Um. I think my plan is to activate Fumeral, put it in front of the 2-1, and use just the wind if he has a pump spell. So we're just kind of holding off on the reunion. We're going to D up for a little while longer. He's going to pump his turtle, I'm sure, but just the wind will reset that creature. Let's see what he does here with his energy. Shocking. All right, um, let's get in front, see if he has a solution. Nope. So that's good. What else do you have? Anything? Veggies? Okay, eat your veggies. <laughs> Does autofill? Tell me, Dari. Uh, Dari. Dari Gaz says he, uh, he he used autofill three months ago when he started playing duels. Does it give you ramp spells like explosive vegetation in your energy deck? I'm just curious. These are things I don't know. <laughs> yes, it does. The answer is yes. Okay. Second reunion. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's time to. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we should tap Sanitarium. I think it's time to just set him back. All the way back to start, please. Hopefully, not Fleet Wheel Cruiser or Gaia's Revenge in this deck. That would be quite the swerve, but I'm sure it's Nighthawk. I'm surprised you didn't say it already, but in before Gaia's Revenge, I could wheel his hand. That seems pretty aggressive. That seems so aggressive. I can't do that. Um, so we'll just get a little deeper. <laughs> Nighthawk's too busy anticipating the fogs for the in before guy's revenge. Well, any deck that's like 30 creatures and some ramp spells is actually going to be a pretty tough matchup, as it's almost a tempo deck, and as you see, we don't have a tutelage. Cultivator of Blades. Oh boy, oh boy. That's 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 great. Anything with these like go wide tokeny things is a pain. Although he uh, doesn't go with tokens. That's gonna make Defiance a lot better. And that's better even more so. Um, so. Fire at will, Commander. Yeah, you pause. You're getting tempered. Tampered. And okay. Let's light it up. Why the heck not? It's going to be great. Uh, you are going to discard your hand. Because I think that would be funny. And I'm going to bolt you. <laughs> kind of a mill three. <laughs> Get rid of that theorist and that turtle and that grip of the royal. Draw three lands. Yep, there's one land. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Gaia's Revenge Light. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
okay. Uh, let's see. One inventory. I think we have to start there. Pause. What, you got counters too? Did they put that in your autofill? What is this quest for the best? Uh, we're trying to find the best record out of the kind of out of the popular decks and duels from this season. So that's why Mill is on the list as one of the popular decks. Hey, well. <laughs> do you think he's pausing me because he has a counter? Or do you think he's pausing me because he has hexproof? Let's see, he can't. He can kill me. <laughs> we have to catch him doing everything at once. And we need to activate Fumeral. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. We just have to pass. Balls. <laughs> he's pausing while he's reading cards. He hasn't been pausing me to this point. Maybe he doesn't know what Hexproof is. Well, there's a chance. Oh, there's an activation. If I let that resolve... Okay. We basically have to run him out of activations. So we need him to do one on his turn, then we make him do one on our turn, and then we need to draw another Just the Wind to make him do it again. We could bounce Fumeral, but I don't like that play, since we just die the next turn anyway as it enters tapped. He's, he's going up. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see if we can trigger him. We're going to activate again just to see if we can get him to spend more energy. Nope. He's good. All right. Let's activate this while we can. Try to get a look at another card. Uh, okay, great. More land. More heartbreaking lands off the top. Ooh, wait a minute. He could have just won, right? Unless he just drew that. Maybe he just drew that off the top, off the sanitarium. But yeah. If so, lucky us. Inspiration. Inspiration is the last card. Thanks for showing me. You want to target me by any chance? No? Okay, just checking. He's got four energy, so we need to basically find a way to make him trigger it again. Not it. So if we glimmer main phase, we can go up to enough to get the free activation on just the wind. So I guess I'll try that. Okay. You gonna crack that in response and make me laugh? No. I guess right now he has to. Oh, hey, how you doing? But that doesn't do it. That's only three damage. So I need to send you both away. Yep. That does it. That does it. Um... So I want it dead. So if I try to just the wind it, he will, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, okay. So we're on seven, I play you, I draw, nope, that doesn't do it. So, sanitarium. But I can do that on his turn, right? I can. If he has a way to make instant speed energy, I look like a fool. Yeah, so let's do it now. Yep, activate. Boom. How you like me now? 
How you like me now? <laughs> He's either on a ballista or an unplayed land. He's on inspiration was the card we saw. So, but if he's on Ballista, does he have enough mana to just punk me with it? Darn close. Five. You could Ballista me for five. Yeah, we did the impossible. Shot that Hydra down. If he does play another Hydra, I'm going to cry. But then we're just going to have to do it again. <gasps> he didn't do it. Okay. Enchantment spam, here it comes. Get real. <laughs> Now what you got? <laughs> mill, mill players rejoice. <laughs> he's got probably one turn and he's dead. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice. How about that guy's revenge now? That would that'd be a that'd be a shot in the eye. Oh, cultivator of blades returns. The other Hydra, if he has it, is still in his deck. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can mill him. See if we can run him right out of cards here. This is it. Down with your turtles. Down with your forests. All about that glimmer, baby. All about that glimmer. Oh, he's out. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay. No, not what I meant to do. Now I'm just hitting buttons. Too fast, too fast. Too fast, too furious, if you will. Ten card. I'm rejoicing a lot right now, it says greed is good. Ha <laughs> ha yes we, from the ashes, we rise. We do not fall to 0 and 2 against the energy deck. Everybody's favorite, my first deck in duels from this season. And we rise up, rise like the day. Ah. More nonsense triggers. Full combo assembled. Down. Da 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 boom. Do 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 boo. Do 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 do. Do 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 boom. All right. What do I got? I got time for one more. One more. Will we retire Mill just three games in? Or will it rally and finish on a 2-1 record and be the deck we pick up tomorrow? One way to find out. Oh, the high drama. Oh, the intensity. Shogun Lord, you don't know the responsibility that has befallen you. It is now on you to either retire the mill deck or fade into obscurity. That's got tutelage. Need to draw land. Not like this. Not like this. But you gotta you just gotta keep it. You know, two lands and tutelage, that's a keep all day when you play tutelage. It's end of story. Gotta do it. Breath. Everyone's on head. Aspirin available. It's gonna be a sweater. No, it's the gear shift ace. All right, here it is. The top of the deck. Do you believe in magic? Get it? Uh, he's either reading something or he has a walking ballista. disappointing <laughs> okay 
it's like that. It's all right. We can we can let him. He can have a time walk on turn two, no problem. It can't be bad for us, right? It can't be bad. Maybe I wasn't clear with the shuffler. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what's going on here. Shuffler, I demand a mountain. Let's just buy some time here. Bounce spells are good against vehicles, but not good against their hasty little dorks. But he hasn't played a, a vehicle yet. Cruiser is probably his next play. Ah, <laughs> no! Not like this. <laughs> the shuffler hates Mill. That's all that this can mean. That's all it is. It wants, it wants this deck dethroned. It wants it removed. It wants to see Mill deleted. I honestly wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> I know some of you out there are fans, but I would kind of revel in deleting this. And that's what the stakes are, you know? When when a deck is, is deemed an underperformer, the only appropriate punishment is deletion. Ooh! Not yet, the deck says. Not just yet. There is a vehicle. I bet it gets hasty powers. That's freaking Speedway Fanatic. Let's see if he uh, knows how to... Oh my! Oh my. Okay then. It's like that. It's like that. Yeah, it is mountain or bust, isn't it? Probably back-to-back -back mountains. But it is mountain or bust. We're gonna go to eight. We know our opponent has another creature, so he can crew his copter next turn. If we take out his copter, we go to one. Hey, he could be on 16 lands and no other artifacts and all multicolored cards. We could just mill him out from here, right? It's always that. Even, I, I, I think even in that case I just described, the math would say no, no, you cannot mill him out. Boom. All right. Lend me your mountain. Oh, we did it. Okay. What do we have no time for? Probably a Glimmer and Reunion have to go. And I don't know if Fevered Visions can stay. So I think it's like that. And then probably discarding a reunion to the axe. And then what we have to draw next turn somehow is another mountain and another lightning axe. And that's assuming our opponent does nothing. And then we're not dead. It's perfect. It's like we drew it up this way. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> John Cena would say, never give up, never surrender. Easy peasy, that's right. That's right, Nighthawk, easy peasy. Oh, man. Oh, wait, that doesn't quite do it. Because he can pump his copter, but we can still take it out. Yeah, that's right. You scry things to the top. Watch them get tutelaged. Ha, 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 yeah. You fool, trying to scry things. Okay, well, he's got a vehicle. A big one. You can give it haste. That's probably bad. That's probably not good. <laughs> Don't know why he didn't just lead with that. Okay, he's tapping both of those? To give it plus one, plus one, and haste. Oh, no. Oh, no, is he going to punt? He had lethal, right? All he had to do was fire it up with the fanatic? No, no, I still could have axed. This is all going to turn out the same, I think. I think I'm going to go to one. Oh, it's eight, eight. One, one, six. Oh, always watching. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. 
Hey, that's not my punt. <laughs> Don't give me a punt for that. <laughs> it's not my fault. I did what I could. Did the best I could. Cards didn't believe in Mill. Dun, 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 dun. All right, cool. Well, that's the end for you Mill fans. Just didn't live up to the hype. Maybe it's my build. Maybe it's my lack of milling expertise. You be the judge. Thank you, Nighthawk, for the unpunt. I feel better now. As good as I can. And uh, yeah, ding dong, the mill is dead. In fact, uh, we're going to do it that way. Ding dong, the mill is dead. Mean old mill, wicked mill. Ding dong, the wicked mill is dead. With a final record of one and two, putting it in dead last. Dun 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 And that's it for my stream today. So I hope you had a good time. I love seeing your passionate responses, whether you love or hate the deck I play. That is pretty cool. I am going to run along now, and next time we're going to be picking up a brand new deck. What will it be? Who's left in the running? Is it control? <laughs> Is it control? Is it aggro vehicles? Is it Bant Tempo? Is it the green, black, all the mythics all the time thing? Is it good old teamer flame shadow energy? Is it the green Godzilla? Is it Drago Esper? Is it the Grixis Planeswalker deck? Will it be the Abzan all the mythics all the time deck? Will it be the mid-range Mardu deck? Or will it be Salty Tokens? Winner, well, based on, a few card changes, but based on the winner of the Xbox One Fight Club Mobius. That's what's, tune in next time. I'll see you guys later. I'm getting out of here.